Welcome to the Militia Gaming Community, I'm Trigger, and we've got the sleeper to end all sleepers. Let's go! Real quick before I get into the video, if you're an aspiring content creator yourself but you're looking for a little bit of advice, I have a second channel called Caliber Gaming. It's where I'm sharing everything I know about creating content on YouTube and I'm offering free one-on-one -on -one coaching. That means you can send me your channel links and I will send you direct feedback on your specific channel and give you advice based on all of my experience. All right, let's get into the video. So. For this BMW, my editor, Steven, has actually figured out a build that I haven't seen anywhere, and I was super shocked to actually give this a try. But this car is very, very fast in B tier. That's all we've built it for, and we've optimized it to be a short track build. That means it's gonna be insane in the corners and not so great on some of the speed race tracks, which luckily in B tier, there's only one. So you don't really have to worry about that. Now to give you context, because I did put RSR killer on the thumbnail, just keep in mind that it's only sometimes can you kill an RSR with this and it's largely dependent on the driver. Before this build, RSR drivers were extremely difficult to beat. Even if you were driving good and they were driving bad, they still had such a gap on you that it's almost impossible to keep up. It's very similar to how B tier was when the pista was raining over everyone else. But now that the pista is out of B, you've got the RSR just killing everything out there. And a lot of times you get into a lobby and you can't even compete. Well, with this car, you can definitely compete. In fact, I'm gonna share with you a couple of times that I have, one of which is the RSR, the other one is the Beetle. And then we're gonna go try to attack those times with this car and though, keep in mind those are my fastest times with those cars so if we get anywhere close with this one you know the difference between this car and the pista and the rsr is very very close at least that's what i'm hoping to prove with this one all right let's take it out to rat race and tourist trap those are my two test courses and let's see how this thing does all right here we go rat race first test of the video my best rsr time is 118.46 but let's see what we can do here See how close we can get. All right, spins wheels a little bit in first and second, grips up around third. So if you're in, you're in manual, I think uh, you'll probably be good to go launching it in third, maybe fourth. Let's see if we can get out of Waru's way here. There we go. Full three? Nope, only a two. Oh well, let's go. Hopefully, this corner. There we go, nice and clean. I got a little wonky on that, I'm not gonna lie. It just accelerates so good in the middle gears. All right, we're flying now, dude. Absolutely flying. I like to go right side on this one. I don't know if it's actually better, but it allows me to drift both of those corners and hit that one with a full three bar. And then I can get two usually farmed off of that. Let's see what kind of time we get on this one. 18, 19, 20, 21. So actually not a bad run. I had a few little mistakes, I think, around some of those small, really short S turns, like after you jump and then you have that right. And then you have those little S's. I didn't do so good there. I bet you I can knock at least a second off this run, but I'm not gonna do it in the video. But this shows you how freaking close this is to the RSR. My best time with the RSR, my best time is 118. This thing's at 121 and that's a 118.46. So you're looking at about three seconds difference on rat race. That's really close. And if you're a better driver, you can definitely get a better time particularly on this course, I think I'm, I would say I'm above average on the driving, but I'm definitely not the best and I'm not the worst either, but I'm just comparing this to my own time. So my own time compared to my own time, a 121 with a 118 for the RSR. That is insanely close. Anyway, let's move on. Let's get to the next race. We're gonna be doing Tourist Trap, which is a little bit more straight. So let's see how this works out. All right, here we go on Tourist Trap. My best time with the Pista, was 149.11. You can't do that anymore because Peace is not in B tier. That happens to be my best time on this race. 149.11. Let's see how close we can get with this car. Here we go. This is a very straight course. A lot of top speed 
at play here. Try to draft off some of these guys. Maybe we can get a second bar. There it is. And we're off. Oh, too much. That's a mistake right there. We're going to have to count that against me. Let's just finish it up. Let's see how this thing goes. If we can get a nice clean second lap, we'll see what this time is going to be. Not the best turn there. I've messed that turn up twice on this race. I was really concentrating trying to make that thing happen, but it really wasn't the best turn. You see, we're at a 140 now. Um, it's not going to be a, a, a 40s time. Got a little... little over 50, 52. So again, three seconds, and I had terrible, terrible corners. I'd really like to maybe rerun this and see if I can't get closer, but you guys get the picture. This thing is insanely fast. A 52, uh, a 49 with the Pista, 52 with this one. So a three second difference between this and the Pista, not the RSR. Notice the RSR is actually a little slower than the Pista, but this is close, man. And actually last night I was racing this around just testing it and I ran a 50 and a 51. So I know it's possible to get really close to a 50 with this car. It's crazy fast. It's just so good in the corners. This is one of the best uh, short track builds for B tier. So anyway, let me show you the build so you guys can take this down. I'll just throw up the build card. You guys can screenshot it and save it for later. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you have any questions about this video or any video, you're welcome to send me a DM. I answer every single DM that comes my way personally. I read every message and I answer every single one of them. So please do me a favor. If you have questions, send them my way. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Shout out to all the Heat 5 members of the channel. I'll catch you on the next one. Trigger out.